the Burbank Show. My name is Anthony. And I'm Pamela. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the Burbank, Burbank Show. In today's episode, we bring you highlights of our single de Mayo program. Star Pep Rally. Teacher Appreciation Week shout out. Eighth grade end of the year interviews. And teacher goodbyes. We are finally back after a few weeks of intense star and EOY testing. How do you think you did in your finals? I think I did great. Hey, that Pep Rally was fun though. Yes, it was. Shout out to eighth grade Vanguard that made us win. Seventh grade dual language. And sixth grade Excel for winning the Star Pepper Alley Spirit Award. And to all the teachers who participated in the cheerleader versus teacher dance. Let's go check out the highlight. <laughs> This month, we had our 36th annual Cinco de Mayo program. 36 years? Wow, that's a lot. Wait, so that means they started in 1986? Talk about a tradition. Yeah, that is definitely one. Well, here's some of the highlights, and don't forget to buy the video from Dr. Velasquez. Vamos, tenemos que defender nuestra ciudad. Month, we also had Teacher Appreciation Week. Who is your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher is Ms. Dominguez. What did you do to show some appreciation for your favorite teacher? I wrote a thank you letter to Ms. Robertson saying how good of a teacher she is. We asked a few students to share with us and here's what they said. Do you think teachers can be replaced by artificial intelligence? Why or why not? I don't think teachers could be replaced by artificial intelligence because teachers, they have emotions and like they can sometimes understand how you feel as a student and like understand your struggles. And I don't think artificial intelligence could do the same. That depends on the robots because um, if it's capable of like feeling or expressing emotions, then yes, it could. If if it couldn't, like, it's just like stale robot stuff, then no, I don't think I could replace the robot teachers. They cannot because it's better seeing our teachers than robots, and anyways, we can get bored by seeing our teachers, but imagine having the robots. No, not really, and artificial intelligence would probably make you memorize everything in one day. Uh, no, because uh, if, if teachers get replaced by AI, the AI won't have control of the students, and the AI could probably get hacked. How did you show appreciation to your teachers the past week? By doing my work and showing that I can do better and by doing this video. Okay, thank you. I showed them appreciation by giving them an easy, easier week and because I know it's like a lot of work for them. Oh, I showed appreciation to my teachers by buying them gifts. I bought them all like chocolate and gift cards. Uh, I'd like to shout out Miss Cole. She's like one of the best teachers I've ever had. She's so nice and like every time you mess up she always tries to like correct you and even though you don't sometimes you don't do her work she still like 
tries to enforce it on you. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Bonilla because of how understanding he is to all his students. I'm going to send a shout out to Mr. Lubiano for teaching us um, how to use our technology and how to use our Google things. My favorite teacher is Ms. Dominguez because she's so nice and she like lets us talk in class and stuff. So it's really, she's really sweet. So she deserves a shout out. Ms. Jury because uh, she helps us with our lessons and she makes them fun. I'd like to give a shout out to Ms. Jury for always, always, always supporting our crazy questions we, act, we ask during her class. Mr. Luviana because he's kind, lenient, and um, this class is easy, I guess. We are a few days away from the end of the school year. Finally. Woo! We asked our 8th grade students if they are ready to move on to high school and a bunch of other questions. Let's take a look. Evelyn, you want to give a shout out to your favorite teacher? Yeah, um, a shout out to Ms. Romero for being the best algebra teacher out there. I want to give a shout out to my history teacher, Ms. Walter, because she's the best history teacher and she's a really good teacher. I give a shout out to Ms. Fry because she made sure I did good on my start and I used strategies. Shout out to Ms. Rola, Ms. Fry, Mr. Schauberg, because like they've been such a good influence for me this year. I would like to give a shout out to Mr. Luviano and Ms. Salinas. Ms. Wagner because she interacted with us and she made learning very fun. My favorite teacher is Ms. Fretz because she has helped me a lot throughout the whole school year and in seventh grade too. Seventh grade Ms. Robinson because she gave me a lot of advice during seventh grade and what to expect in eighth grade. Se llama Miss Atari por siempre apoyarme y siempre estar conmigo. Matemáticas porque se me hacía fácil y Miss Atari siempre nos explicó oh, muy bien. My favorite teachers are Miss Wagner and Miss Story because they're so fun and they're always making my day. Did you do anything this year that made yourself proud? Uh, get accepted to the high school I wanted to go to. What high school you wanted to go to? The Bakey High School. <clears throat> um, probably being student of the month. It like. It made me really proud. I joined demo team and became part of the karate family, and I performed very well. And I was also, um, be I also became the art club president. Um, I went to a karate tournament and I got placed, and that felt really good. Ooh, I finally got a, a report card with all these. Do you know what you want to do after high school? Yes, I want to uh, go to the Baylor's College get accepted and get a job on the hospital and then study my career. Uh, I want to be a cop and then become a detective. I want to help people and be able to say I help people as a person. Enfermería. ¿Tienes razones específicas por qué vas a estudiar esa, esa carrera? Porque me llama la atención um, enfermería y para cuando me vaya a high school, um, esa es la carrera que pienso agarrar. After high school, I want to start my own business and really build it from the ground up. How have you improved as a person or a student this year? As a student, I have academically got like better. I was a bigger person even though I had conflicts with certain people, but I decided to leave the job my home. What is one piece of advice you would give to someone coming into middle school? Be to not fall under your friend's influence to do what you want to do. And no matter what they say, like don't worry about people judging you is to really pay attention and to like focus on yourself because at the end of the day it's just you. Can you give a shout out to your best friends? I'll give a shout out to Kimberly, uh, Giovanni, Mapuki Ibis, uh, Christopher, Sophia, and all the Fulcortico people. Shout out to Daniela Fuentes. You're so cool. I want to give a shout out to Jessica Osuara for being my friend for eight years and even though me and her don't talk as much like we used to, I still love her and I, I wish her the best. I'd like to give a shout out to Emma, Leticia, Janaya, Casey, Mariah, not you. That's a cut. <laughs> As the school year comes to a close, we have some teachers saying goodbye to Burbank. Our sixth grade social studies teacher, Ms. Jones. And our Vanguard social studies teacher, Mr. Shelberg. These two amazing teachers are retired. We wish you all the best and enjoy your free time. You deserve it. Here are some teachers and students wishing you the same. Let's listen. I want to give a shout out to Ms. Jones because she teaches me more than I need to and makes it more caring. I started as an elementary school teacher, um, so that was different than middle school, but I've enjoyed working in middle school. What was your favorite memory here at Burbank? My favorite memory would be just meeting all the teachers. So I've made a lot of new friends here at Burbank. Um, 
and just enjoying my last year with everybody. What is some things you would like to say about Ms. Jones retiring? I would like to tell Ms. Jones that she will be great with me. She's been a great team member for Vanguard 6. We would definitely miss her and we wish her well on her retirement. How are you going to spend your retirement? Oh, first of all, not waking up early because um, I'm tired of doing that, but just traveling and spending some time with my family. What's the first thing you plan to do? Sleep late and then go out and get breakfast somewhere and just enjoy, I think, my house and my, my husband and my dog and my backyard and my flowers. How many years have you been teaching? So totally it's 31 years. That's amazing. Oh, well, thank you. Any retirement shout out for Ms. Jones? Absolutely. I haven't known you for that long, but I love you, girl. Congratulations. Uh, it was a pleasure having you here this year. Please take me with you. Anyway, I hope all of your wildest dreams come true in retirement. And if you ever want to come back and sub for us, you know we'll use ya. Hope you have a great summer. Bye. And do you have any good buys to say? Oh, to everyone. Um, just in general, I think just goodbye to all the students that I've taught. Um, goodbye to all the friends that I've made, my fellow teachers. And just to teaching, goodbye for a minute, not forever, but just... You know, thank you for letting me be Miss Jones, the teacher that I've been. Thank you. Mr. Schober is retiring. Do you have a message for him? Uh, I just want to say thank you for your time here and how much you really tried to help the kids here, for teaching my mom and my tío and helping them become the people they are now and teaching me to become what a responsible adult just like you. We appreciate you, Mr. Shelburne. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, he's a very good teacher. I've always found him as a mentor and very professional. He's taught us a lot of things in history, and I think he's a very good teacher. Though I want to wish Mr. Shelberg a happy retirement, I am going to miss a lot of things about him. Um, I've been working in the cluster with Mr. Shelberg for, like, I think nine years now. And, you know, I just, I'm going to miss those early morning greetings of, I thought they fired you, Miss Weeks. What are you doing here? And, uh, <laughs> and you know, Miss Weeks, only ELA teachers have to do that extra duty in the mornings. And um, just all the jokes that he would tell to me and, you know, the I wonders and stuff like that. So happy retirement, <laughs> Mr. Schilberg. Uh You are our punctual early bird of the cluster, and we're going to miss you, but I know that you are going to do wonderful, relaxing things. I'll let you know if I need a sub. Hey, Mr. Shelberg, thank you for your years of service as a teacher. I appreciate that you've been here for Mr. Uh, for at Burbank for such a long time. You uh, even taught my little brother back in 2000 and something. I don't remember, but so he's been here for a while. I appreciate the all the all the education and all the kids that you served throughout the community here in North, at the North Side. So you'll be very missed, and just uh, you know, just kick it in the Bahamas, man. Just have some fun, man. Yeah, Mr. Shelberg, congratulations on your retirement. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for our students. And um, I, I wish you uh, nothing but the best ahead. Congratulations. Hey, thank you so much for all of the service that you've done at Burbank. Really, really appreciated you've been here since I got here my first year. Um, I appreciate all of the help. Um, and the resources that you have shared over the years. And I hope you have a very, very relaxing retirement. Bye. I just want to say that being in this game as long as you have, that's an incredible feat. Uh, we appreciate your time and I hope you enjoy your retirement. Ms. Shelberg, uh, your life is just starting. It was a pleasure working with you. Uh, it, was, it was a joy to see that crisp white shirt and tie every Monday morning. Now you can really enjoy the rest of your life. Yes, Mr. Shelberg, I'm going to miss saying hi and bye to you in the hallways, wishing you the best of luck in your retirement. And you know what they say, once an eagle, always an eagle. All right, that is it for today. And all this is our last episode. Stay tuned to the channel because we will be dropping videos of our eighth grade end of the school year festivities. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching and we will see you next school year in the new season of The Burbank Show. Bye. Peace. <laughs>
Oh. You just have to like say something. Yes, Mr. Shelberg, uh, I'm going to miss saying hi to bye, hi to bye, hi to bye. I'm going to miss saying hi and bye to you in the hallway. Restart. <laughs> <laughs> that Red Bull just kicked in. <laughs> so I put like um, the, <laughs> the ch I put chocolate in there and then I put gift cards of like what they all like. So like Chick-fil-A, Starbucks. Yeah, that's what I put in there. Gift. I didn't get anything, so oh. she's lying. Well, because you're my elective teacher, mister, so I'll buy you something for sure. So it doesn't count or what? Where's my chocolate, Jalen? I'll buy you a gift card, mister, I promise. Uh, wait, what's the question? <laughs> I forgot the question. Because we already had online learning, so it'd be really easy to just replace them with online stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good choice. I dropped the paper. <laughs> I dropped the paper. <laughs> How did you show your appreciation to your teachers this past week? I really didn't do anything for them because I didn't know it was teacher appreciation. <laughs> Luda, when I was 13, I had my first love. I like to say hi to my baby girl Jules and um, my wifey Abigail and Evelyn and my bestie Westy for the resty Pamela. <laughs> <laughs> There was nobody that compared to my baby and nobody came between us who could ever come above. She had me going crazy. Oh, I was starstruck. Y'all have anything nice to say about Mr. Shelburne? I think he's a really nice teacher and he should like get promoted. He's getting retired. <laughs> yeah. Okay, does oh. hold on, hold on, put this on. She woke me up. Okay. Um, yeah. That's probably going in the blueprint, right?